Hey guys, this is Tommy with Couch Buddy Games. I'm coming to y'all to talk to y'all about a new game that had came up to my attention called Perception. Um, it is by the creative brilliant mind of Bill Garner, X Irrational's uh, team there also as well, along with some uh, you know ex uh, Dead Space developers as well, I believe, if I'm correct. Now, um, <laughs> that sounded stupid. Now, uh, along with that, I was checking into everything, and I think it looks freaking amazing. I took a look at everything here. It's a new first-person uh, horror game that he's coming out. He did put up a campaign for it on Kickstarter. I do hope that everything goes well, and I will definitely be contributing to that as well. Now, about the game itself. Again, it is called Perception. Uh, now, with his new group, it is called the Deep End Game, so if y'all want to go ahead and definitely take a look at that, please do, and if y'all like it, please support it as well. Um, he's not giving me anything back for this at all, I'm just saying, you know, support it. I love video games, and I think this should be backed as well. I want to see it come through so I can actually play this game myself. <laughs> now, uh, on the other hand, like I said, let's talk about the game itself. I'm not going to go into too much detail, I'm going to wait till I actually get my whole group here, and then we're going to go into it in detail, but with me, just my first opinion, my first reaction to this game, like I said, I freaking love the way it looked. Um, again, I did say this is a horror game, so it is going to be a first-person horror game. It's going to play a little like, if you remember, uh, Amnesia or Outlast, you know, you, you, you're in a dark, dark areas, dark rooms, creepy environments. Uh, not really knowing where to go, you just kind of have to figure it out for yourself, and you kind of go from there. Now, there is no arsenal. You don't have any weapons, anything like that. You will have to explore the area. You run into any trouble, you're going to have to run and hide. I personally like that. It adds to the game. I can really get into it, and I just still have, you know, plenty of fun with that. Now, with all this being said, it, you know, being you're being in the dark, you're walking around trying to discover some new areas, unsolve the mysteries on what's going on here. You are in what they call Echo Bluff. It is an estate. Now, the main character, as she states that I will be showing you the train in a little bit, has been having dreams about it and wants to explore this estate. Now, with this being said, your character that you're going to be playing as Cassie, she's blind. Yeah, blind. She's going to be walking around using you know what they call echolocation she does carry a cane of course you know most you know, blind people do carry a cane <laughs> unless they someone else wants to carry a chicken and just walk around and hopefully they can find their way around now with this cane basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be tapping the cane on the floor so that way you can see your field of view and see exactly what's around you this is what's going to be adding to your visuals and i love it now with that being said as you tap the cane on like hardware floors uh you know Anything that's not soft, it's going to be loud. It's going to echo. You're going to see a lot, but it's going to be loud. Um, they did make it to where you tap on carpets and things like that. It's going to be a bit. More, it's going to be a bit more muffled, but you can still see exactly what's going on in front of you. Now, with tapping, making noises, you're going to attract some people. And when I say people, I mean a presence. There's 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 entity, whatever you want to call it. It's there. The more noise you make the more you're going to attract them, then you're really just going to have to go run around and hide. And that is when it's going to make things very, very interesting. Now, at the same time, I did read and also found out, too, that you can make some sound bombs, like an alarm clock. Uh, you can make distractions so that way you can see what those other noises being, you know, put out further ahead of you, but also distract the enemies that are in the area, which I think is really cool. I like that. Now... Along with that going, you know, it's, this is going to be, of course, on the PC, you're going to be running, you're going to be hiding, you're going to be hiding in closets, making noises, distracting your enemies, trying to get through. It's going to be creepy. It's going to be dark. Your character's blind. I personally think this is all a damn good combination just to make something horror. Or horror game. <laughs> Now, of course, we're not going to be getting Silent Hill, and that's what makes me a little sad, though. But I think with this coming out, we're going to be seeing something great, something new. Something to really bring us to the table to a horror uh, video games. Now, compared to the other ones, Amnesia and Outlast, I love those. Those are freaky. They're great. I love the stories to them. Well, Outlast kind of had a story. I can't remember Amnesia, to be honest with you. But Perception here it looks like it has a great story that's being built behind it. They really introduced that to you very quickly within this trailer. And I personally think this is going to be something great. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you the trailer. And it's going to end there pretty much after that. Like I did say, I will be having another video coming up with the rest of my group from Couch Buddy Games. We're going to go through this into more detail. Let you know what we like. Let you know what we dislike about it. Go into detail. See exactly what's going on going on within this game and you know see what's going to be offering for players out there i do hope you all enjoy this trailer if you all have any uh 
questions about what's going on if you have any comments anything like that go ahead and please put in through always as well go ahead and like comment and subscribe here for us as well thanks i see it in my dreams night after night the same house a thousand sketches a million hours of research and finally i found it the estate at Echo Bluff. Hello? Listen, I need to do this. I'm at the door. See you soon. Okay, now why am I here? Hello? Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. What was that? The pipes. That's gonna throw me off. Well, I'm pretty good with a wrench. Come on, house. Show me what you got. <laughs> Friggin' butterfly wannabes. Guess I'm gonna have to take the scenic route. Hell no. Could have been worse. Hello? God, oh God, oh God, oh God. No. No, what do you want from me? 